Life's pretty sweet most of the time, and your drinks often need a note of sweetness as well. Whether it's honey syrup or maple syrup or simple syrup, there's a lot of different ways to add a sweet note to drinks. And simple syrup in particular has a seemingly infinite number of ways of spicing it up. That's why this week we'll be making ginger syrup. From Durham, North Carolina, you're watching Cocktails Under Quarantine. I'm Suzanne, and this week I'm wearing a Carolina basketball jersey. This is the one, number 23, that Michael Jordan wore when he played for Carolina, of which David and I are proud alums. And we're wear I'm wearing this shirt this week because we are proud that this episode and a series of episodes on holiday punches is being sponsored by the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill General Alumni Association. And David and I are proud graduates of Carolina. We love Carolina. We went to school at Carolina. We got married at Carolina. Both of our kids were born at UNC hospitals, so we have a lot of ties to the school. Anyway, um, this week we're gonna be making ginger syrup, which is a great ingredient for a lot of tiki drinks. We'll be showing you how to use it in our Scully Court Punch. You can also use it to add kind of a tropical twist to classic cocktails like the old fashioned. And you can even do things like take a little bit of ginger syrup, add a squeeze of lemon or lime juice, and then add some club soda for a lovely mocktail for your guests that might not be drinking alcohol. So let's get into making the recipe. So first we're going to take our pot. We're just going to add a cup of water and then set that on our hot plate to get heated up and then it is basically a simple syrup so it's just a one-to-one -one, one cup sugar and one cup of simple syrup Get it heating up. I'll just give it a little bit of a, a stir. Okay, and then we're gonna get our ginger ready. So here's ginger root. So it's four ounces of ginger root. And if you buy it at the supermarket, I don't know if you can see here, it's got kind of this brown um, skin on it. So you might wanna just kind of peel that off a little bit. And I saw someone do this once. I thought it was a really great tip. Just take a spoon and kind of use that to get the, the peel off. So there you go. And then we'll take the ginger and we'll take a knife and we're just gonna cut it into thin coins. fair bit of ginger. It's very nice and fragrant. And this is actually ginger that I grew in my garden. And in addition to it being as fresh and local as you can get, it also has the added advantage of being really young and fresh and therefore doesn't have any skin that you have to peel off. So I'm just going to add that in there this over, just kind of bring our hot plate over, just kind of give it a stir, stir, and you just want to make sure that all of the sugar is dissolved, okay? You want to keep an eye on it, you don't want this to um, boil really aggressively, so just get all of the sugar dissolved and then you're going to turn the heat off cover it with a lid and we're just going to let it steep for like 45 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Our ginger syrup is nice and cool and it has steeped and infused with all those beautiful gingery spicy flavors and it smells really lovely. So all we have to do now is just strain it and bottle it. So let's not knock anything over. So I'm just pouring it 
into my strainer. And then we're gonna use a funnel to put it into our bottle and then we're just gonna stick it in our fridge. And if you put this in the fridge, it should keep for at least a couple weeks and you can find all sorts of good uses for it. So I like to use a funnel and I'm a big fan of mason jars. Um, I think that they are just super useful for this sort of thing. So there you have it. There is our ginger syrup ready to go. We're going to stick that in the fridge and we're going to find all sorts of great uses for it. So that's it for this week. As always, stay safe and drink responsibly.